Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how to improve the efficiency of food production in farming. You should then be able to evaluate the advantages and disadvantages of modern farming techniques. And finally you should be able to explain why some people have ethical objections to some intensive farming methods. And all of this is for triple biology students only. In a recent video we looked at pyramids of biomass. We saw that only around 10% of biomass is transferred from one trophic level to the next. There are several reasons for this. For example, not all of the material eaten by an animal can be digested and absorbed. Some of the material passes out as faeces. A lot of the biomass which is absorbed is used to release energy in respiration. This energy is used by the animal for movement. And in the case of mammals and birds, for keeping a constant body temperature. So in this video we're looking at how modern farming methods improve the efficiency of biomass transfer. I'm showing you here free range chickens on a farm. Free range chickens can move as much as they want to. They are provided with food, but they can also find their own food, for example insects. Now there is a problem with free range chickens. As we saw, a lot of the biomass that these chickens eat is being used in respiration, providing energy for movement. Also, because these chickens are outdoors where it can be cold, energy is also needed to keep their body temperature constant. So for both these reasons, there is less biomass available for the chickens to grow and also produce eggs. We see the same issues with other outdoor animals such as cows and sheep. Again, a great deal of biomass is spent on providing energy for movement and for keeping a constant body temperature. In the 1960s, farms in the UK moved towards intensive farming. This is sometimes called factory farming, and I'm showing you an example here. These chickens are raised inside a temperature controlled shed. The space in these sheds is limited, which restricts the chickens' movement. So, because their movement is restricted and they're kept in warm conditions, Less biomass is wasted compared to free range chickens. These chickens are also fed a high protein diet, and because of all these reasons, indoor chickens produce more eggs and grow faster than free range chickens. Cows can also be raised in barns, and again, by limiting movement and controlling the temperature, the efficiency of food production is increased. Now, factory farming methods have several advantages and disadvantages. And in the exam, you could be asked to describe these. Factory farming is more efficient as less biomass is wasted by the animals in respiration. We can also control the food that the animals eat so it contains all the nutrients they need and less food is wasted. And in the case of chickens, eggs can be more easily harvested if the chickens are kept indoors. However, when animals are kept in crowded conditions, infectious diseases can spread more easily. To prevent this, animals in factory farms are often treated with antibiotics, and this may increase the risk of antibiotic resistant bacteria. Also, because the animals are kept in crowded conditions, this can make them more stressed and more likely to fight. Now, many people have got ethical objections to intensive farming. They think that animals should be raised in natural conditions and be able to engage in normal behaviour. For example, free range chickens forage for insects in the soil whereas indoor chickens cannot do this. Engaging in natural behaviour will increase the animal's welfare, for example by reducing stress. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on intensive farming in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.